Hi, my name is Jay. I'm 18 years old and I enjoy playing guitar and worshipping God. I also like surfing, mountain biking, skating, cricket and pretty much anything else active. Each week, all over the world, many of God's people study a set portion of the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. This week we'll be reading from Deuteronomy 31 verse 1 to 30. In this portion, Moses is giving his last speech to the children of Israel. He knows that this is the day that he is going to die, and is handing over the leadership to Joshua, as God has told him to. Moses has led the people of Israel for over 40 years, and now that he is leaving, he wants to make sure that they will continue to follow God after he dies. He has brought them to the edge of the Promised Land, and it is now up to them to take it. He has done all that he can, and now he must give up the leadership of Israel and let the people of Israel go into the land without him. Sometimes in our life, those who are leading us will step down and it will be up to us to keep going for ourselves. If we love God and seek him for ourselves now, then we'll continue to do that even when our leaders are no longer here. It is our choice. Take Joshua for example. It says in Exodus 33 verse 11, that when Moses had been in the tent of meeting speaking with God and then came out to speak to the people of Israel, his young assistant Joshua would stay behind in the tent of meeting. He sought God for himself even while Moses was alive. And so because of that, when Moses died and he was told that he would be the leader of the people, he stayed true to God and has now become known as a successful and godly leader. He chose God for himself. And when he was about to die, he challenged the Israelites to do the same, saying, Choose for yourself this day who you will serve. But as for me and my household, we'll serve the Lord. This was the secret to Joshua's success. He chose God for himself. And did you know that Jesus did a very similar thing? In Luke 2, 12-year-old Jesus is in Jerusalem with his family for Passover. When the festival finished, his parents and all their relatives started traveling home. Mary and Joseph assumed that Jesus was with his cousins or other relatives, and it wasn't until the third day that they realized he wasn't with them at all. Now, this is a very long time, so I'm assuming that they had quite a big family. When Jesus' parents realized that he wasn't with them, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him and they found him in the temple learning from the rabbis and teachers. So even Jesus made a decision to follow God. He didn't just follow his parents to Jerusalem for the festival, but he chose to spend his time there in the temple learning about his father. He chose that for himself and he is our greatest example. If we want to walk into the promise that God has got for us and stand strong even when our leaders are gone, then we need to choose to follow him for ourselves, even while our leaders are still here. Only then will we be able to live in God's blessings and all the promises that he's given us.